Hello, good morning. And Tuesday. Today we're going to discuss this character, G, the deterministic character in this classic. Yesterday we talked about run. Run means the leap year. This means every day, every year we have a fraction of the day. And after around four years, we have one extra day. And that means that you just mean that excess. Something to over. And that we can combine them together and become one day. And that's the meaning of that sentence. Yun Yu Sing Soi. Yun Yu Sing Soi. Okay, that is Cantonese. Yun Yu Sing Soi. Ren Yu Cheng Sui. Ren Yu Cheng Sui. That is the Mandarin. Okay. And that how would you write this character? This part means eating or the food. And this part means something in excess or mean remaining. So there are two meanings, one is something excess and the other something is remain. Actually it's a similar meaning but uh, there's some difference subtly but it is basically the same. And we can watch again how we write it basically it's from the left to the right and for each part it is from the top to the bottom. And the radical is this part, eating a food. That is standard printed form. Of course, that is how we print it, but nobody will write in this way. And you uh, discuss the writing later, and then the Unicode. In Cantonese, it's Yu. Okay. In Mandarin, it's Yu. It's something different in this tonation, but basically the same. Yu. Yu. Okay. Korean, yeah, Japanese, Vietnamese, Yu, Shibu, mean the foot or the eating, 17th character, Yu, the meaning mean excess, something that is over and that's called Jing Yu, Duo Yu, Yu Qian, Duo Yu, is something unnecessary. Okay, if you do something and say you uh, Duo Yu, I mean there's something not necessary, do something extra that is uh, not helpful. Yu Qian, there's money that we store that can, um, after deducting the basic necessity that the basic necessity and we have the money left over called Yu Qian Yu Nian Yu Yuan Yu Shi any uh, extra meaning and extra work so on Ye Yu Ke Yu you mean after school Ban Gong Di Yu I mean after work or meaning approximately as you um, 20 plus people, 20 plus, okay. And it's a tree that's uh, go down you, it's a, um, one meter plus, okay. You win, is something that is um, remaining. Yi Sheng, after the mid, um, after 50 years old, then you say, the rest of the life are Yi Sheng, the time they left over for this life. Bu uh, Yuan, there's something uncompleted. Xi Yu Yu Gu, there's something we can to condemn somebody, say that uh, even after death, you have some left over things that you have to pay off. Google Translate. 
Yi. Yi. Uh, unfortunately, only one meaning remains, but it's more than that. Good time. Uh, start like this. That part it means the foot and there's something over. And that now we come to the standard form. Okay. But we have simplification. And that is use and um, Hong Kong and uh, Taiwan, yeah, right again. Okay, in mainly China and Singapore, we use only that part. It means the simplification is like that. And how about um, uh, strip writing? Um, we first we simplify the part, the simple, and the part. So for a script writing, can be write something like this. Okay, that's a bit of the way for this um, character. Okay, that's it. I'd love to talk to you about everything. Curse and more.